Hello, and welcome again to Sewing with Miss Rice. For today's part, we're going to be sewing the waistline. One of the things I want to mention is we will not be sewing the waistline completely. This sounds a little backwards, but I promise there's a reason. So first of all, what we're going to do is I'm going to mark a hole. And I'd like to have my hole off to the side, so I'm going to mark it with chalk. That's my stop point. And here's my start point. I have this at approximately two to three inches apart. This gives me a place to thread the elastic band in afterwards. Why don't we do the elastic band in there in the first place? Well, because the elastic is likely to shift. And also, because of the way we want to do it, it's going to bunch up everything up, which will make it more difficult to do a nice even stitch. So that's the first thing I want to mention. The other thing I want to mention is You'll notice on the elastic band, we're not doing this this video, but I want you to see it now. You will see I have two X's on the elastic band. What this does is it allows me to go and mark where I want the two of pieces of elastic to meet to become nice and secure for my purposes. Um, right here makes it very comfortable around my waist. So when I am threading this through, I want to make sure that when I'm done, I can have these two pieces meet and sew them together right here. It's okay to mark it with a Sharpie in this case because no one's going to see the elastic. Not unless you have very thin fabric. In which case you can always go and make sure that they come together like this so it's less likely to show through. The other thing I want to mention is by doing this I can make sure that when I match the X's up I am connecting it the same way so that way the elastic does not twist. If you have twist elastic, it's going to be really uncomfortable for you, and there's going to be more likely to be problems. All right, so that's the quick setup for this. So the next video, I will show how to sew for it briefly, but I'm pretty sure you all got that. So we can skip that video if you feel confident in how to sew, especially after doing the hems. Really, it's going to be the same way as how we did the hems. All right, everybody, until next time, happy sewing.